was early and often, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. This is game six. We got Rick pitching here. I know he's looking for a six pack. Bobby C got one, he wants one. Oh, so close. <laughs> he, he felt it. So that's Rick against Ghost and Dan against Jim, I believe. Kevin didn't hear it. Bring it again. On the other side. Yeah, Most to get into. Bobby gets a ringer they barely touch it. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't hear that bell. Rick Rick obviously rang it, rang it loud on this screen, but I, I did not hear that on the game before this. So I never get one. On game five. <clears throat> I asked him to ring it later because I didn't hear it. There you go, see? One off the back side. No ringing. Not even a ringer. <laughs> oh. That looked closed. <laughs> yeah, it looked like Ghost got one, but it closed at the end there. It sounded good, too. When you go, Dave. All right. Hey, before we go, Rick. Got the ringer and a close point. I didn't do anything. I would never say that. You can't go in this little hole. Ghost's shoe must have came in a little hot and heavy and then bounced back. Maybe at the end of this, I'll throw uh, throw some earlier videos of Ghost shooting 40, 40 feet. And I know I got some. I'll put a little bonus on the end of this. <laughs> Ghost has, Ghost has the better better view of it. He's not calling it, so. <laughs> That's true. That is so true. Can be at, at this at this angle, it looks like he's not going to get bumped on. on. It's going to be bumped off more than anything. Well, but Jim keeps completely away from it. Thank you, Jim. It did not make it four. Nice shoes, though. Nice, nice shoes. Yeah, nice, nice circus shoe, Dan. <laughs> Almost got there. Dan, you're doing better than I did on game five, so props to you. That's a beautiful shoe. Nice. Good shot. Only the first two shoes of the uh, game are called early and often. After that, it's just a six pack. Oh, I didn't know you rang it for us, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a community bell. <clears throat> that's right. <laughs> we have guys that are, are dying to throw six-packs so they can ring the bell. <laughs> Yeah, I think what I'm going to do on the end of this video, I'm going to make it a little uh, montage of uh, of ghosts through the years. I'll go back and uh, search out some videos, and uh, I'll throw I'll throw ghosts down there. 
I know he's got a lot of. Actually, we were partners at. Uh, he drove, dragged me up to <clears throat> the Beloit Horseshoe Club, and he was the first time that anybody had taken me out there, and he wanted to be my partner. Can't remember. I think we, I think we got first in our division. I don't recall what we did. I, I'll. I know I have a picture of uh, him and I at Beloit after we were done holding up fingers, but I don't know how many fingers we were holding up. If it was first or second. <clears throat> It was a non-sanctioned. It was to bring your pal, so. But that got me. That was my start. Good shot, Jim. So that made it uh, <clears throat> first. They were they were first to get in the kill zone. Let's see if they can do it. Two shoes to kill it. Let's go. Is it green or is it brown? His shoes are still there. They're, they're all right in there. He's not throwing them long. He's not throwing them short. He's... But I'm sure at this at this point, uh, Jim has has not not practiced in uh, quite some time. I do recall going. Uh, being a garbage man and going past his house because we used to have his town as a contracted area and I'd go past his house and I'd see him out playing he was a uh, at that time he was retired and he'd go out and play shoot 40 feet and be practicing <clears throat> back in the day he was uh, one of the I'd say he was definitely in the top 10 of, in our league, right uh, pitching 40 feet. Better measure that. <clears throat> up and down. Uh, well, this one's going to hammer it right into the green. He's almost all over it. Now I see it straight up and down. <laughs> How many times have you heard that? I can see it from there. <laughs> solid four, Dave. Solid four. From here, it looks so like Dan can right close this out. Now, uh, as soon as I threw my second shoe, it closed about four. Four. Oh, that was a good shot. Oh, oh my God. God. Three jacks. Bounced off, brother. Be nice. Be nice. Almost just want to give him a six-pack, just, just for how perfect that shoe was. <clears throat> Root for the wrong team. Three seconds. Three seconds. Yeah, Dan's calling for four. I don't think it's four. I think it's three. That don't matter. That, that, even if his point, even if his second shoe stayed for the with a point, that beats it. So he only gets three. Three times, Dan. Good shoes, though. Nice shoe. Good job, guys. Good job. That's Dean saying good job in the background. <clears throat> Dean wants to play again, I'm sure. I can't recall if, uh, I can't remember if he did play a second game or not. I think they just let him try for one game and that was it. Well, hopefully he's got the itch. Hopefully he wants to play more. There's a slider. Looks like a good foot. Hey, that's what happens when you're, uh, when you come in flat and open and centered. <laughs> That's where I think a lot of uh, Rick's circus shoes go on because he's, he lands somewhat somewhat flat, but he does a, uh, end up centered with the stake. So it gives a, uh, a really good chance for a circus shoe to, to continue on towards the stake and go on, so. And mine sort of have a, uh, they don't come in straight, they come in sort of turning a little bit. 
And if you've seen some of my slow motion stuff. All right, uh, that's the game. And um, stick around. And I'm going to throw some, a little tribute to Ghost. Thanks for watching. After six games, or six, you know, thanks for watching.